Hello. Uh, this is gonna be a different commentary today. Autopilot mode enabled. Today, we're we'll reviewing kind of basics of a CV. This is not a high damage CV game, but it gives you kind of perspective of somewhat positioning Good and game, everyone. securing kills, as long as with some other basics for the game. So when starting off as a CV, you obviously, main objective is going to be the spot. You know, Kaga, or most Japanese, you don't have the fastest planes, but they're pretty fast. When going against a Russian CV, especially, you're going to want to watch out, keep their planes spotted, and just kind of keep them on patrol. Start of the game, find a Suzy. That was a target intentionally, but if you find a lonesome DD out here, I know we have support in our Div battleship. I know he will fire upon DDs. He has HE loaded, so I'm gonna try to make the DD turn broadside to take more shells. Also, spotting torpedoes is a huge factor in this game. Cause I almost say as a Somers is a torpedo ship, I locked him down, keeping him contained to only I think he only got a couple torpedoes at most because I was spotting him all the time. Now here you can see I'm positioning behind an island on these islandy maps like this where you kind of kind of like got some cover but not other cover. You want to usually get closer than what I am but I figure that I'll play a bit far off knowing that we were going to have B swarmed with four ships target. and I can keep terrorizing C since I'm C. Here, uh, this was me attempting to go for the Siegfried, but ended up going for the Suzy, which was not possible. Just, this is what you don't want to be looking for in a CV. Don't try to do this, it never works, ever. Make sure to, yeah, if you're getting shot down by fighters, hit the send planes back sometimes it'll save you like one plane like that sometimes it doesn't it just depends also once again on the plus side is when you're in a group like what you're gonna see right now this is what AAA does do to CVs and this is why CVs are one of the most under or most non-performing CVs in the game this was not a great drop but when you have a group like that, you kind of lock down CVs to single targets, which is not always the greatest option in these bigger maps. Once again, we're just trying to pick off lonesome targets. I know the Vanguard's not the most by himself but he is still out there getting a torpedo hit or something like that could always change the outcome of this game and spotting torpedoes once again that was just once again a major factor the all their dds didn't really get many torp torpedo hits because i had spotted them way before i think yeah the set over in our smoke screen was the only set i didn't spot in a while. Spotting torps will come in handy in later game most of the time or especially in this game but for right now the first five seven minutes you're gonna be wanting to pick off lonesome targets or low health targets like a Suzy for instance. One thing nice about Kaga's bombs is you're gonna be able to hit them like at that angle when you're dropping on the Kaga bomb if they are moving away or for you try to drop with where because they're going to be like gliding in front of the bombs go forward they don't go down so if you drop them say they're going to go forward you can drop them over say onto a superstructure and it's just a lot easier to use sometimes than a dive bomber 
Now here I figured that Susie is now dead. Siegfried is now the lonesome target. You can come in with this. I mean this is just a decent drop, but it's just the ideal picture for a CV. You're gonna wanna have targets Attention. all by themselves. Make sure to keep looking at your mini-map at all times, checking HP of your teammates, and positioning of the enemy is always a major thing, because you want to get your CV as close as the enemy as you can without getting too close. This isn't the greatest example, because their team was well spread out, kind of limiting me to where I can move. But here I see an NC, and once again, good positioning on these islands can leave a CV with nothing to do here. It's pretty much, yeah, that's not going to hit anything. No chance at all. Now I see that B is open in the middle, and I should be able to push through. So I'm going to take the chance now. And I've noticed that at A, we have nobody over there, so I figured, well, my... Flandre, div mate, will kill the NC, and the cruiser and a battleship can take care of a pan European. That there he goes. I'm going to try to damage people over at A. I find the low health Atlanta, setting a fighter to spot him in case I don't kill him first time around. This is just a bad drop overall. I think he's going broadside and he turns in. Usually you should slow down here, try to get the circle closer, but I'm kind of rushing this. But once again, you can see how the bombs go forward and it lands in front of him. So you want to drop the bombs more over him than what I did, but usually what I do in that situation works well. Right here is going to be an interesting look. If anyone has ever played or watched some of the older CV YouTubes on PC or CV players on PC you might remember where you had separate squadrons you just controlled it from there and you could do something what we call is cross dropping and you could still do this in this game too with the Kaga and even some other like the Russians but it looks something like this isn't the greatest area but usually you want to do it on the cross side I made a wrong turn and that other set won't probably get to him what you do is you're pretty much going to drop one set extremely far away around him and then you're going to drop another set on his broadside so if he turns and makes any turns he's going to hit at least one of the sets of torpedoes. So now he has eight torpedoes coming right at him and he really can't, if you want to say dodge all of them, but in this situation he can because, well, they are really separated and he knows what he's doing. There my teammate finally, or not finally, but kills the... NC, which that, that's not what you do in an NC, is rush and then completely miss. Once again, positioning of a CV, putting, trying to get my CV as close as I can to my teammate, help get him some AA support, but also to maybe distract their CV to come and attack me. Once again, I'm flying out here just to make sure there's no torps already coming at my teammate. Knowing that he's not over there and last spotted was somewhere around this area, I'm pretty confident he was out here. Once again, when you're finding a DD, make sure to keep looking for that squadron detected. And then once you see f AA fire, pretty much just follow that. When dropping on DDs who are turning broadside, once again, try to go over like this. That's what I'm talking about. Look, see how it hits a superstructure? You can do that to any ship, and it's just kind of ridiculous, but it works really well against any ship type. Here I should have went more to his stern and tried to drop from there. But once again I'm going to try to take my chances and go on his broadside. Dropping a bit farther and I get one almost finishing him but it's okay we have many more sets to come. Here I'm looking at our cruiser seeing if I can save him. Once again placing fighters against a Russian CV is not always the greatest. It doesn't necessarily work all the time but sometimes it does but DD is going to gun him down unfortunate and he doesn't really hit the DD 
their CV's fighters are actually helping their DD a lot right here. As I can't go from his stern and attack him, so I have to take a farther out route. But I just kind of still attack him anyway. I autopiloted out there because I didn't know if I was going to take the torps. Here, once again, you're going to try to go on the broadside. I did not aim this well. And nice. Remember, return on the ship once you know you got fighters attacking you. Once again, positioning, looking at a mini-map, when you see, say, like the Sharnhorse out here, all by himself, low health, take advantage of it and attack him. I'm turning my ship towards the enemy CV's torpedoes to dodge those, while continuing to move forward, my teammate, Flandre, is going to be pushing around, he has engine boost, I'm pretty sure coming up real soon. I still know where the DD is. So I know where the general idea if he's going to try to attempt to thwart me. I... Watching this. Our DD opens up. Props to him. Most DDs won't do that. But you know it's a good DD when they will open up against a battleship. Situationally aware. I dodged those torpedoes. And now I know the smoke screen. Finish off the Sharn Horse. And that is my third kill. Once again, low damage and kill. But securing kills is the most underrated factor of this whole game. I know you want... When people steal your kills, it's really disappointing. Everyone goes through it, but to some point, just you gotta end up sucking it up. Once again, spotting torpedoes, huge factor. I spotted those, so I kind of had a general idea he was still around this area. Spotted all his torps before he dies. Once again, get a lateral. Not lateral, but I head on drop and see ya. Now it's just a CV left. My div mate has engine boost. He's full steam ahead I'm cleared the torps just double checking at this point you just want to keep them spotted you're not gonna kill them in three minutes once again once you're getting shot at turn them here I see he's kind of calling out for help his CV is really attacking him but at the end of the game like this you're pretty much helping your teammates you're not gonna kill a CV that quickly I mean you will end up killing him the more and more attacks you do lower tier it's really easy because you can just bring in two planes at a time and they can't do anything to stop you. Once again, I try to bring my CV over, give him support. He's just too fast for me. He has a pretty good idea of what he's doing when it comes to dodging. Most people do. Just turn towards it and you'll minimize the damage. Here I see he has a fighter out in front. I'd rather save some of my planes. I see I have one more fighter charge left, so I'm going to... Go out to see where he's moving. Make sure you get out of his range. You want to place it. Right about six and a half kilometers. Now I'm going to come in with our torpedoes, knowing these are the higher damages. Now here's the funny aspect Russian players do. is You see how he just dropped torps at nine and a half, so you kind of can tell how they're already flying back up. Once again, spotting torpedoes. I fly over him. Just, once again, making sure there's no torpedoes, and I do spot them for my friendly here. Once again, making, I'm pretty sure he would have cleared them anyway, but it just kind of gives him that reassurance of he knows exactly where the torpedoes are, and he doesn't have to worry about them. You will see Russian CVs do that a lot. You might even see Kaga players do it, like what I did to that Sharn Horse earlier in the match. But at this point, it's... About a minute, 30 seconds left. Our DD's capping A. It's just pretty much get as much damage as you can now since this is a very low damaging game. Once again, you see the CV. Seven kilometers away. You can tell when they drop. Because all of a sudden they'll stop. Flicker. They'll go up. Just fly right over it or get real close to it. And spotted. And now my battleship has a very little chance of hitting those torpedoes. Once again, a minute left. This game is pretty much ended. Not much that our CV can do. It's pretty much try to get a Kraken, see if we can get it. This is not the greatest drop of all time. When they're blue lining like this, you want to try to get as close as you can to the or white line. Blue line, white line. I kind of just didn't do that. I wasn't thinking at the time. Drop them wide. Overall, this is just showing you in a faster CVs than this thing, you'll get a lot more damage 
and stuff the and like support than while you're close. But if you're farther back, it does work. Lexington is always a good ship if you want to do like an AA support build. You can do that. Parcival is really fast, really good in this map if you put up close to the island. But other than that, that's pretty much just basics of a CV. Thank you and hope you enjoyed.